2014 Ford Mondeo with a DPF problem. Ford Duratorque TDCI. It's a Peugeot engine. Hmm, service engine now. Or maybe engine malfunction. Sound familiar? I better see what the old snap-on scanner's got to say about the situation then, shall we? Well, let's see. Vehicle conditions incorrect for diesel particulate filter regeneration. Diesel particulate filter soot accumulation and diesel particulate filter restriction. We've got a DPF problem. Oh, what's in the box? Shall we have a look? What's this then? It looks like some kind of plumber's nozzle. <laughs> right, on a serious note though, this nozzle fits on your exhaust. And what happens is, fuel from the tank comes through this pipe, into this nozzle, and squirts out of this hole, into your DPF. That normally happens during regeneration, when the DPF is being regenerated, normally when you're on the motorway. The problem is, whether you just drive around town too much, I don't really know, but these nozzles get clogged up with soot, the fuel can't get into the DP diesel particulate filter, and that's it. They then register a fault code and put your car into limp mode. First thing, underneath the vehicle, there's a plate just here with four 13 mil bolts. I've loosened everything on this car just so I can get on with the bloody job. Oh, and just so you know, chances are this nut will be rusted in and if an open-ended spanner, you're not gonna be able to undo it. So what I normally do is get an air saw and chop it, just cut it through here. Then you can get a socket a 22 mil socket on that nut and undo it because generally speaking they're pretty damn tight right so hang tight I'm just going to whip the old one off it's a bit difficult to see this but that hole is pretty well restricted with carbon Oh, yeah, I was having a quick tea break. Yeah, I wish I did have a worse one to show you, but you'll just have to take my word for it that they block up. I've changed. I've lost count of how many of these I've changed. Oh, and just one thing. These nozzles, they have a little, they have a little lug there, so you can only fit it in the exhaust in one position. I just thought that was relevant to know. If you're doing a regen, it's not a case of just holding the revs up. You have to have the proper equipment to carry this procedure out, like a snap-on scanner of some description. In order for a regen to happen in the first place, you've got to have the engine temperature. I think it's at least 60 degrees centigrade. I don't know if you can hear, but it's doing its regen. I've had to come over here because I can't bloody hear myself think over there. But anyway, what I was gonna say is, when these cars are doing a regen, I don't know about other cars, but on a Mondeo, you'll hear the engine note keep changing as the fueling keeps changing to carry out this regen. It'll go, just so you know. I'll tell you one thing, 
it friggin' stinks. If the engine note doesn't change while it's doing a regen, there's probably a problem. But in this case, which is good, there isn't a problem. But I'm gonna keep a note on how long it takes to do this regen. Thirty-seven minutes that took. Woohoo! <laughs> right, that's our regen done. So now, hopefully, I can clear that pesky engine management light. That's it job done. Just one last thing. If there's one useful piece of information you can take away from this video, that's the knowledge that you will have to get your wallet out. See ya.